Hello, everyone. My name is Tom Dishard, and I'm one of the ministers at First Unitarian Church. When we gather for worship on Sundays, we uh, talk about the mission of our congregation being to um, uh, support the individual spiritual journey uh, for people, as well as to build the beloved community. So how does that actually happen in, in how we uh, come together? One of the ways is through the Wellspring program, which has been a program at First Unitarian for uh, several years now. This is an intentional spiritual deepening program that brings people together in community to learn and to grow together. One of the key phrases of Wellspring is a quote by the poet Mary Oliver. It's a wonderful quote about what will you do with this one wild and precious life? That's a powerful statement and a powerful question. And we hope that the Wellspring program is a way to, is to engage in that question. Wellspring is a 10 month program. It uh, is uh, something that uh, you will begin uh, this fall in October and will go through the following June. This is a, a program that came out of the Rochester, New York congregation and now is part of the learning in, in many of our congregations. And um, I wanna just take you through a, a little bit about the Wellspring program to, to help you understand it. There are five spokes of the Wellspring program as they're called, five ways of engaging with yourself and with the divine and with others. One is a commitment to work on a daily spiritual practice. Now, some of our folks who take Wellspring, uh, they have been doing spiritual practice for years. Some have uh, are new to the practice of uh, uh, are new to spiritual practice, and um, this is a new thing for them in Wellspring. Uh, this could be a daily walk. It could be a daily time of meditation or prayer. It could be uh, some other creative endeavor that you, um, you commit yourself to trying on a daily basis. Some people stay with the same spiritual practice um, through the whole year. Others try one thing and then another, and they try to figure out what is a spiritual practice that works for me and helps keep me centered through the day and through the week. Another key part of Wellspring is participation in a small group community. Usually the groups meet twice a month for a period of a couple hours. The, um, the meetings include some a time of silent meditation together as a group. They include check-in on how you're doing with the spiritual practice that I talked about earlier. Their, um, uh, their time to, uh, to reflect together on readings that are part of the curriculum, uh, readings that you get in advance and are asked to prepare for. I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, and the method of, of being together is, it's not a discussion group. It um, comes out of a teacher or from a teacher named Parker Palmer. And it's, um, it is about creating a space to learn and to grow together and to um, uh, and reflect together. One of the, the ways that this gathering is different from some ways that we gather is that we're asked to not immediately um, respond to people verbally. It's really about a, a, a making a space for people, as I like to say, for people to um, be listened into being, for people to bear witness to what you're saying and to hear and, and listen to that. Um, and actually when it works, it works beautifully and it's a real honor to have people take in what you're reflecting on uh, about your own life and spirit and, and, and growth. Um, you're asked, we're asked to engage uh, usually on a monthly basis with a spiritual guide or mentor or director. Um, this can be uh, a new experience for people, but it's, it's really looking at how is it with my spirit and, and having the, the engagement with another uh, person to 
make a space for you, you to explore what is it that I believe? What is it that, um, that I look to as, my, as some of my highest values? That's a place to engage with a, with a spiritual mentor, and that's part of the, the Wellspring program. As I mentioned each week, um, you, you are assigned uh, a groups of readings, uh, or sometimes they're video clips, and there are ways to engage on a particular topic. It might be forgiveness. It might be religious history. It might be um, our relationship with the earth, with, with, uh, with, uh, with the religion of our upbringing. All, all kinds of topics happen in those, in those group meetings. And the readings and resources help to kind of, as I might say, prime the pump for that engagement. Um, and so that happens, uh, that happens for every meeting. They're not terribly, you know, they're not more than a couple hours worth of, of reading, so they're not uh, too much, uh, but it, it does help in terms of um, the coming together of the group and, 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 and helping us to think about certain topics. The final spoke of Wellspring is a commitment to, to live out uh, our values in the world and to, uh, to bring it into the world. Um, I, I like to think that spiritual growth is not just about kind of being blissed out and for our own growth, but it's, um, it helps us in our relationships with those closest to us and in the world around us. And I think Wellspring is a way to, is, is a way to do that. I recently spoke with a, with a, a member who um, uh, has a loved one who's living with dementia. And this person talked about the calling that they're experiencing from this in terms of wanting to take their learning from supporting a loved one uh, living with dementia and being an advocate for others who are living with that. And um, that was just one example of someone's way of of uh, taking their own spiritual growth into the world and 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 it affecting how they live their lives and the and the values undergirding that. So those are the um, those are what we call the five spokes of Wellspring, the different ways of coming together in this program, and it's been quite uh, quite meaningful. So next, I'm going to turn to uh, two good folks who have been part of the Wellspring program, uh, uh, Mindy Clark and Sue Palmiter. And Mindy, uh, would you be willing to share a little bit about your experience um, in Wellspring as a participant and uh, if you want to reflect on what it's meant for you as a leader? Thank you, Tom. Yes, I would. I have participated in Wellspring sources, both um, initially, obviously, as a person who was taking the program and engaging in the program. And then in the last year, I've had the real um, honor to, to um, be a leader or facilitator of a Wellspring group. And it, both experiences have meant so much to me. I came to Unitarian Universalism as a faith fairly late in life, and I um, uh, found Wellspring sources in particular to be so helpful for me in anchoring me in what it meant to really be a Unitarian Universalist. And the practices, the five spokes that Tom mentioned, gave me a way to connect in on a daily, weekly, monthly basis with my own spiritual development within Unitarian Universalism, the work with uh, the daily spiritual practice, engaging with my spiritual director, and um, having somebody who really helped me think through those deeper things um, was a step for me in my own development. And then as a facilitator, the joy and the honor of holding space for others as they join together um, to walk into this faith and to walk into um, their own, to live into their own version of this faith. And so one of the things about Unitarian Universalism that I love is that uh, there is quite a bit there and yet out of it, I create my own um, individual expression of it. And being with 
a group of people who are all in that process has been one of the most meaningful experiences in my life. Yes. And Sue, do you want to uh, do you want to reflect a bit? Sure. Thanks for the opportunity. I I do feel like uh, I've uh, had such a great year. It's just about wrapping up here, and uh, I think um, I'd heard from so many congregants that Wellspring was a great thing to do, and I just didn't feel like I had the space and time in my life to do that. And and this year was one one of those times where I thought. Um, I wanted to have more grounding in my faith and more grounding in my actions in the world based on that faith. And so uh, Wellspring has been just such a great companion to me as I'm doing new kinds of um, activism in, in Portland because it, it's helped me get that grounding I really needed to do the work. So. Um, I think it's a well thought out program. The every every two weeks, two to three weeks, twice a month, is a great pacing so that you have the time to do the reading and watch the videos. But it doesn't feel kind of onerous, and um, that's been great. And another aspect for me has been just getting to know a small group of people. I think we have eight that you know I really feel like I I know at this point, and I. Um, and I wouldn't have gotten to know them because they're people with maybe young children and I'm not in that place in my life or folks that I wouldn't necessarily have met any other way except through this program. And um, I find that to be one of the great benefits. We have a lot of opportunities to meet and uh, get to know folks in the church, but this just seems like it, it cuts across many different areas of, of people's lives. So I've really appreciated that. And then I think um, the just the opportunity to talk, uh, you know, at a really deep level about things um, that we we may not get to in our everyday life, and to just be listened to completely. There's no judgment. There's no you know people don't even nod their heads yes or no. They're just listening, and it's it's a great gift I think we give one another, and it's a practice that I've taken out of Wellspring into other interactions in my life, and it's really improved those interactions. So. I think there's just some skill building for me also, um, and having a spiritual director, which I never had before. We just met with her an hour ago, and I find it to be uh, really enriching. So there's just been so many uh, aspects that I think are uh, useful, and, and I wonder if I, if you were to speak to the seven others in our group, if they would say the same things. I think we have our own uh, pieces that we take from it. So. I think you kind of bring your what you're hoping for and you take what you need. So it's been great and I, I do appreciate it. And I appreciate Mindy being our leader this year and uh, and the and the church sponsoring it for, for folks. Thank you, Sue, and thank you, Mindy. And yeah, I just want to reinforce that that I think the um if we were to if we were to talk to folks who have gone through Wellspring, you'd hear quite a quite a range of experiences um, of, of how people have engaged with this. Um, but it's been a very positive part of our church life. And I think it has been a way for people to go deeper and to build community and to engage. So I hope you'll be interested in exploring the Wellspring program. Now, I should say that there are actually a number of Wellspring curricula. Um, the one that we encourage at the beginning is called Sources. and that is the, the kind of beginning curricula. You learn about the small group process and what that looks like. And it's a way to uh, kind of ground and, and, uh, and, 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 and explore. Um, uh, these are fascinating and complicated and uh, sometimes difficult times that we're in. And my hope is that Wellspring might offer, might offer a kind of grounding for people who are interested in going deeper. Uh, we've had a lot of response to our uh, congregation in these days, especially to our worship. And I think that, um, I hope that Wellspring might be a way to, to take that growth a little deeper and engage with others. So I hope you'll, um, I hope you'll join us in that exploration. To learn more, you can reach out to, to Carrie Hines 
in our adult faith formation office. Um, she can answer questions or she can find somebody who can answer your questions. Let us know that you're interested and uh, we'll, um, we'll give you more information. And we hope you'll be a part of this program um, when it begins in a few months. Thanks for joining us today and um, thanks for being interested in Wellspring. Be well, take good care everyone.